Welcome everyone, how are you doing? I'm your host Malgaris and today we are continuing the fort's campaign Alternative Facts Destroy enemy fort, building minigun from scratch, stop mortar from completing We found this upgrade center lying around in the desert Capture it and, our, and upgrade our weapons and tear them a new one That upgrade center belongs to us to steal is to lay with dogs, easy but disgraceful. This is our upgrade center, bought and paid for. Hashtag alternative facts. The enemy is building a mortar fort to protect this region. Its reactor is protected by armor. Machine guns can shoot down mortar shells, but do little damage to armor. Construct a bridge to connect to this outcrop and then again to this outpost to gain access to their, uh, I mean our, upgrade center. Then upgrade machine guns to miniguns by right clicking on them and stacking the up arrow. Ropes can be attached to the ground and structures, use them to support your bridges. For the Eagle Empire! Ok, so let's get moving. Also the G key can disable the grid, which makes for more flexible building options. Okay. Upgrade. And upgrade. Or you can press the U button, then goes even faster. It's the keyboard shortcut for the upgrade. And we have to destroy them before the mortar completes. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, maybe we, need maybe we need to stabilize the tower a little bit. Like this. And this. G G. That was nice. Next one. WMD or weapons of mass destruction. Surveillance indicates the enemy has more oil than they know what to do with here. Upgrade your sniper team to pierce their armor. Your intelligence has failed you. This oil derrick is as barren as this land. Pay no attention to these barrels. They are all empty. Keep the oil. We're here for weapons of mass destruction. We have we have been tipped off that the enemy will be placing snipers in these nests. Armor protects their reactor. Use your snipers to take out theirs. Build a bridge to the upgrade center and use it to upgrade the, or your snipers to armor piercing snipers and destroy their reactor. For the Eagle Empire! Let's we're going to upgrade one sniper. Wait, maybe just connect to the upgrade center first. Right now, upgrade this one. Number one, number two, number three, and oh. Because we could end this game in one shot with the AP sniper if we aim well enough. And it's also an achievement. So that's a double win. Yep, that's it. Quick, nice and easy. Great job, fellas. Great job. 
miniguns, mortars, AP snipers. What else you got? A wise man keeps his secrets close and his gun loaded. Let's just say Europe will have some real fireworks. Secret, right? We've just discovered the location of the mother load and the remnants of your fort. At least your gun's loaded. Theater unlocked, Europe. Rough wipe. Destroy enemy fort, shoot miniguns through shut doors, avoid damage to all armor. The enemy has taken to the next level. Armor your fort before their miniguns smash it. Oh, that's hot. We invented gunpowder. Now we will invent miniguns. Prepare to have your fort turned into chipwood. Then we will make paper from the chips, then turn that into toilet paper. Good luck making toilet paper out of steel. Hashtag rough wipe. The enemy have developed that into minigun, a more powerful but less versatile version of the machine gun. This warehouse is blocking the minigun's line of sight, but it won't last long. Once the warehouse is gone, the miniguns will rip through our wooden bracing, reinforce the fort with the armor material. Once the fort is protected, build an upgrade center and a sniper. Once the sniper is once the upgrade center is complete, upgrade the sniper to an armor piercing sniper or AP sniper, and use the end and destroy the enemy fort. Oof, English. Here's a tip: slanted armor deflects bullets and takes no damage. For the Eagle Empire. Okay, then let's armor this bad boy up. Now start building your upgrade center. Well read. Okay. I mean, the Dragon Army does have a buttload of explosive barrels for lying around for absolutely no reason, so it's no wonder that they already lost two regions to us. I mean, they're about to lose two regions. Once this upgrade center is done for, let's armor pierce these boys. We can also slant these doors. And yeah, I have to shoot them both when their doors are closed. Okay, shouldn't be too difficult. Can I also upgrade... Oh, I can also upgrade the mines, the super mines. Awesome. Okay, close your doors and I will open up your skulls. Glad I missed that one. Okay, that was not intended. Now let's put one of those explosive barrels and we're good to go. There we go. Now, once Europe is done, we should be through the tutorial missions, right? Yes, we do. Burning down the house. The enemy is trying. Excuse me. Destroy enemy forts. Don't get hit. Oh boy. Hit a mortar. The enemy is threatening us with incendiary mortars. Fight fire with fire, I always say. Some bridges are built for burning. I promised fireworks. Behold, the dragon rains fire. Those in wood houses shouldn't throw flaming stones. Shouldn't throw flaming stones. 
Hashtag God would. The enemy has reinforced this fort with armor. However, there is a weak spot made of bracing here, which is vulnerable to fire. Build a workshop here, then build a mortar here. Use your machine guns to prevent your fort from being set on fire by mortars. Ford Eagle Empire. Okay, let's get technology up. And start gunning down those projectiles. The fun thing, the fun thing about the anti-air dynamic, which is one of my favorite parts of the game, is despite all your defenses, there is never a 100% chance that your AA will get the enemy down, as you could just see. It's a factory? It's a workshop, excuse me. Workshop is done. Okay, let's start building our incendiary base. Just to give him a little roof against the rain, you know? And you guys are going to get it soon. Don't be shy. Yeah, no. Our AA is pretty tight. Okay. Better angle, no problem. Is this the right angle? Nope. But it's starting to look good, though. This should do it. We got a mortar. Now we just don't have to get hit. Okay. That's great. And they are cooking. And they are not extinguishing. Yeah, they're gonna die. Yep. There you go. Well done, crew! Don't get hit, hit a mortar. Perfect. You got your bird kick, Dragon Boy. Now, tell us all you know about the rumored mother load, and we'll take our boot off your throat. Ugh, I can. <clears throat> I can barely hear you over the ring in my ears. Okay, okay. Transmitting data now. Burning down the house. Theater unlocks the mother load. It's apparently in Eastern Europe. All right. A bridge too far. Destroy enemy fort. Don't attach to floating islands. Snipe all machine guns. Our new warhead needs us. Our new warheads need a sniper to paint the targets. Build a bridge to re to re to rest to re-establish, touch me re-establish, to re-establish the connection to a stranded sniper. You'll need more you'll need more than a mortar to defeat me with these machine guns. How about a couple of warheads? Hashtag overcompensating. Three machine guns defend this fort. Our heavy mortar will not be enough in this mission. So, we've built a couple of warhead silos, but we need a sniper to fire them. Build a bridge out to the first outcrop, and then onto the second outcrop, before connecting to the sniper forts, which you need in order to fire the warheads. Ropes can be attached to anything to support your bridges. 
Here's a tip, use a motor to draw the fire of the enemy machine guns, then take them out with the sniper. Forge Eagle Empire. Right on, right on. So this is the second uh, important thing about anti-air, is using distraction projectiles. Namely, you use weaker projectiles to bait out the enemy anti-air so your stronger projectiles have a higher chance of getting through the enemy's defenses. I will go demonstrate, demonstrate in a moment. So this is the heavy mortar. Okay, so, so you see it's plenty enough to take out that thing. That heavy mortar alone will not be able to take out that base. So we got these warheads, which I will demonstrate in a moment what they will do. It will help take it out. First, they built this bridge and build it as steadily as possible. All right, I'm just going to keep practice firing this one. Oh. Like that. As you can see, there's also some much more strain over here, so I'm going to build a small little tower and build, get some rope to support this thing this bridge specifically I build here here connect here stabilize the weakest joints and we are good to go so I'm going to press this on two and these two on three expose open doors shoot Now this is sufficient firepower to nullify the enemy. I'm also going to launch these mortars. This mortar, this mortar. Just can I can take it out. And this should be near critical damage. And snipe the core. That's the game. That's how you use inferior anti-air damage to cover for superior anti-air damage. The best thing in the game of forts is to prioritize the weapons that deal the most damage because usually they have the highest reload cycle and also the highest energy cost. But we will get to that in a few moments or probably in the next video. That sinking feeling. Destroy enemy forts, win with spotless reactor, win without heavy mortar. The terrain at this side is difficult, we don't have a clear shot. Build mortars and upgrade them to cripple their operation. I thought we had left trench warfare in the 20th century. Man the trench, yours the grave. The dragon army are right on our doorstep. Protect your reactor with these machine guns. Connect to the workshop to build incendiary mortars. Then build up to, up to the upgrade center to upgrade to heavy mortars and pack a bigger punch. For the Eagle Empire. Yeah, first things first, let's connect to this workshop over here. And build up. And up, and up, and up, we build up, and up, and up, and up, and up. This you here, this you here, this you down here. And we got some more wood. That wood you kind of. Okay, let's see if we can maybe resize it up a bit. 
you can fit as many mortars on this platform as possible. Sell you two off. You guys are useless to me now. Go away! Okay, that starts. Let me just rope it up. Like this. And give it a little more weight over here. Like this. Perfect. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Ah, yeah, that should be enough. I think I have plenty of incendiary mortars to take out the enemy. They also got some anti-air too. But that's okay, because we got plenty of firepower for this one. Will that destroy it? Oh, it did. Nice. You guys are starting to get cooked. The cuisine is almost ready. Their anti-air is gone. Okay, that first one. Oh. oh, we're done. Well, that was fun. Did we take damage? Oh, I didn't even see that. Destroy enemy fort, win a spotless reactor, win without heavy mortar. And we have a perfect Eagle Empire campaign. Mother loads. Locate and secure the mother loads. The rumors are true. There is a giant reservoir of oil up for grabs. That's all we know at this stage. This just in. We're hearing reports that the Eagle Empire, believing they have discovered the location of the Motherload, have now lost contact with their helicarrier, the ESS Extravagance. In response, the Iron Bear Alliance is deploying forts of their own to exploit the Eagle Empire's apparent misfortune and replenish their dwindling metal and energy stockpiles. Stay tuned for updates. Well, that was a fun cutscene, and the lady joined us too. Since the uh, mother load has been conquered by the Eagle Empire, we'll have to intervene with the Iron Bear Alliance to uphold the balance of the world. That's all the time I got for this episode. If you liked what you saw, like the video and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. I was your host Mulgaris, and I am moving out.